Elon Musk, this opportunity will never come again. Huge catalyst ahead. 20 times stocks to buy now. The price correction for many high-profile growth stocks toward the end of 2021 likely frightened some investors. However, there are still many terrific opportunities in the sector. The key in 2022 will be picking top companies in trending sectors with the potential to outperform not just in 2022, but far into the future. Today we're going to talk all about which 20 times stocks you should buy right now to have huge gains in the future. So watch this video till the end because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to Investor Secret, your daily dose of wealth secrets. If you're interested in everything around big investors and their investment techniques, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the investor secrets, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the financial world. Watch the video till the end and make sure to hit the like button if you want to be a millionaire within the next three years. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pin in the comments. Now let's get to our topic. I always ensure my investment portfolio has several growth stocks. While the bulk of my holdings consist of dividend paying companies that yield a steady stream of passive income, the growth component contributes to stronger returns over time. There are dominant businesses out there riding tailwinds and important trends that can enable long-term growth. Thanks to the pandemic, cloud computing, online payments, and social media have become big winners in the last two years, as the world flocks onto the digital bandwagon. PayPal, a financial technology company with a payments platform connecting vendors and customers, has been one of the biggest beneficiaries of the growing number of people transacting and interacting online. But the payment portal provider's shares declined just under 20% in 2021 as investors became wary of ballooning growth stock valuations. The company is currently worth around $222 billion, but I believe there are many reasons why PayPal could eventually be a trillion dollar stock. Growth accelerated by the pandemic. PayPal's total payment volume, TPV, a measure of all funds flowing through its platform, has enjoyed a years long streak of double digit growth. For the third quarter, TPV grew 26% year-over-year to $310 billion. And management expects this metric to be up 33-34% to for the full year, with net new accounts rising approximately $55 million. PayPal closed the latest quarter with 416 million active accounts. Like TPV, the company's user base has also been increasing at a rapid pace quarter after quarter. Not only are more people joining the company's platform, but they're also using it more often, with 44.2 transactions per active account, up 10% year over year. Improving financials. PayPal has strong financials even before the onset of the pandemic. From 2016 through 2020, its revenue nearly doubled from $10.8 billion to $21.4 billion. Operating leverage helped the company triple its net income over the same period. Its momentum continued into 2021, with the top line climbing 20.3%, to $18.5 billion in the first nine months of the year. Net income jumped 27.8% year over year to $3.4 billion. PayPal is also consistently free cash flow positive, generating an average of $4.4 billion annually in 2018 through 2020. Year to date, free cash flow stood at $3.9 billion. Shrewd business initiatives. While the pandemic has undoubtedly boosted PayPal's business, the company has also undertaken savvy initiatives to further grow its share of the digital payments pie. For example, it added to its cryptocurrency offerings by acquiring Curve, an Israeli company, in March 2021. Curve is a provider of cloud-based infrastructure for digital assets, and PayPal is leveraging this deal to grow its cryptocurrency capabilities. Less than half a year after the Curve acquisition, the company announced a new service in the UK that allows customers to buy, hold, and sell cryptocurrencies through their accounts, expanding the service that used to be offered only to US customers. PayPal has also hopped onto the Buy Now, Pay Later BNPL bandwagon with the introduction of its own version of this service late last year. To make it even more attractive, the company has waived late fees on its BNPL products globally. The BNPL business looks promising, with more than 9.5 million customers signing up in the year ended September 30th. Around 950,000 merchants have taken up the service over the same period. And PayPal acquired Japan-based PayD most recently for about $2.7 billion. PayD is a major BNPL player in Japan with more than 6 million registered users and 700,000 merchants. This deal extends PayPal's reach into the world's third largest e-commerce market. Then there's also PayPal's tie-up with e-commerce giant Amazon to enable U.S. customers to pay with their Venmo digital wallets this year. 
This collaboration will help the company bring in more accounts, adding to the company's list of partnerships that include Walmart and Booking.com. Even at its industry-leading scale, PayPal has demonstrated its ability to continue to deliver strong top and bottom line growth, taking advantage of the tailwinds brought on by the pandemic. Investors should view the recent decline in PayPal stock as an opportunity to start or build on their long-term holdings in a company with a robust track record. Now let's talk about the bank stocks that could be set to break higher in 2022. With so many stocks off to a turbulent start in 2022, investors that are interested in putting some money to work need to be extra careful at this time. Equity markets are becoming increasingly bifurcated as value stocks are outperforming growth stocks given the complex factors at play with the Federal Reserve and the economy. This could be a trend that continues to play out over the next few months, which is why it pays to focus on areas of the market, like the financial sector, that offer reasonable valuations and are exhibiting relative strength. Here are three best-in-breed bank stocks to buy now. Bank of America If you're an investor that expects the Federal Reserve to take action quickly in order to combat the impacts of inflation, Bank of America is probably the best way to play rising interest rates. That's because it's a company that has one of the highest levels of net interest income versus competitors in the sector. Which means Bank of America's revenue will jump the most if interest rates go up. It's also a company with one of the strongest brand names in consumer banking, with a truly unparalleled network of retail branches and services, including home mortgage lending, vehicle lending, credit and debit cards, and small business services. Morgan Stanley this leading financial services company is a fantastic option for investors that are interested in exposure to the sector, as its operations in investment banking, securities, and investment and wealth management provide a stable business model that investors should be able to count on through thick and thin. Morgan Stanley is nicely positioned to take advantage of rising interest rates, which should provide a boost to the company's revenue, while risks like inflation and an uneven economic recovery could continue driving trading revenue up throughout the year. The company reported revenue of $14.8 billion, up 26% year-over-year in Q3, and is poised to deliver another strong report on January 19th. JP Morgan Chase Finally, we have another one of the world's biggest diversified banking firms, JP Morgan Chase. With roughly $3.8 trillion in assets and operations in consumer and community banking, corporate and investment banking, commercial banking, and asset and wealth management, this is a best-in-breed bank that has developed a truly dominant market position both in the U.S. and abroad. It's a bank that has strong competitive advantages, like industry-leading mobile banking and finance tech, strong operating efficiency, conservative underwriting, and a long history of profitability. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Also, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. And make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on Investor Secret. Bye.